Good morning, folks. Kathy here. Well, I'm doing another experiment. <laughs> I decided I brought a dozen eggs this morning uh, with me. <clears throat> I have eggs already I brought here, but um, I like to I like to make sure that I have eggs all the time while I'm here. So today. I wanted to see, I'm using the solar oven again, I wanted to see if you could steam um, eggs in the solar oven. Check this out. Okay, so inside here I've got um, eight washed eggs. They're all, I floated them, they're all good. I got water down in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not water lines right there so hopefully it won't run out of water because you know it gets hot out there and steams so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven okay so the temperature in here is 120 already and um, it will climb as soon as I get this closed up and I'm gonna wash I see that uh, somehow yesterday some bird pooped on there <laughs> but I'm gonna wash these panels and see if I can get them to get more shine in there okay folks I put these in at 930 <clears throat> now it's 10 o'clock <clears throat> already the temperature is up to 200 and um, I'm seeing a little bit of steam in there but not a whole lot but they are cooking. So this will probably be a success. I can't wait to see it all finished. Okay, folks, it is now 1030 and I am in the temperature is at 250. I'm going to add in a piece of chicken for Walt's lunch. Okay, I could have added it to the side, but I want a little extra, extra um, stuff there, so I put it in there. I only lost a few degrees, I'd say about two degrees, so it should work pretty good. Okay folks, it's 1247 and time to bring this stuff out. I'm going to take it in the house and I'm going to see if these eggs are done. I'll bring you back. Okay, so I know the chicken's done. I can smell it. I know for a fact that it's done. And I know these eggs are done too. Some of these eggs are cracked. I'm going to set the chicken aside because I want it to, I want it to uh, pull in the wrapper. But uh, these eggs are really, really hot. I'm going to show you how you can tell if an egg is cooked. You just take it. Ah! Oh, God, it's hot. <laughs> Let's take this one here. Take it like so and spin it. Ah! I can't get a hold of it, so it's going to spin weird. But see how that spins and does really good? You know that is done. So, what I'm going to do now is put these in the sink with some water over them. Now you can see there's still a little bit of water in here. <clears throat> After I decided to make this video, <laughs> I did look and there are some people who have made videos on boiled eggs. Um, before and let's just say I did not know that you could do it a different way so let me show you how this peels I popped each side and literally it is popping now from the looks of it, I may have overcooked them because it 
It is uh, really dark. <gasps> this was a fresh egg too, by the way. And look how I didn't get any messed up stuff. I am next time going to try them uh, in a paper carton and see I, and I may do that tonight if I, if I can bring if I can find a paper carton I will bring them tomorrow and do them again and try them again and see how they do but this one they're good but a little overdone gotta learn right that's what I'm trying to do is learn how to use this so I hope this helps you guys if you do them like I just did Steaming works perfect, but it also can overcook them if you leave them in there as long as I did. Well, folks, after watching some videos, I decided these are a little dirty, but that's all right. Not too bad. They'll wash off whenever I go to, uh, to peel them because I got to run them under cold water anyway, so I don't want to mess with them and get them stirred up before I put them in the in the solar oven. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go out and get the solar oven, but it is a very cloudy and supposed to rain today. So let's see if I can't get the oven hot enough to to do these eggs. Okay, folks. Well, I just stuck these in here. The temperature is 260. I believe it's going to work. It's hot. I've looked at several videos and um, they say when you have lower temperatures you just add some time. Well, I'm going to spin one at like in 40 minutes and see if they're done. If not, I'm going to put it back in there and uh, let it uh, cook some more. Hey folks, temperature's up to 300. And uh, I lost track of time. It's been an hour. I am going to take these guys out and check them. Look how the heat's rising. The steam's coming up. <laughs> okay, this is still very, very hot. But check this out. Yeah, it's done, I think. Um, so since I've got the heat, the solar oven heated up, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a piece of chicken for Walt and just put it in there and, uh, by itself and see how that cooks. I'm going to cut this. I'm burning my fingers. Perfect. Perfect egg. So, I'm going to give this one to Yoko after I get the peeling off of it, and she'll enjoy that. The rest of them, I'm going to let them sit there and cool, and uh, when they cool a little bit, I'm going to peel them, put them in a bag, and take them home. Okay, so, I'm going to put this in there. It is now 310, so it won't take long for this to cook. Alrighty, it is uh, 310 <clears throat> degrees, and I'm going to take this out of here. Set it down over here so that I can close this back up. Now, what's pretty cool is if you wanted to, you wanted to, uh, <coughs> make some dessert or something like that for dinner, you could also do that right now, too. This is really easy to, uh, close up. It just folds up like that and you lay it down like so. 
that's done, it'll cool off and it'll be all right. I'm gonna take this on in the house. Sorry, folks. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't know. I guess I must not have taken the end of this video. Uh, the chicken turned out perfect. Uh, the eggs are perfect. I really, really, really uh, enjoyed doing the test. I wish I had looked it up before I tried to do the test to begin with. <clears throat> um, I didn't end up using the first eight eggs. I gave them to the chickens and they ate them up really good. I gave them, I, I boil eggs for my chickens and for my macaws and for my cockatoos and all that stuff. So they got them and it was no different than any other day. They're just a little well done. And I didn't even want to try them because the thought of eating something that didn't, that didn't, that was burnt or taste, it weren't, they weren't burnt and they smelled perfectly fine. But just the thought of them being overdone and maybe being, I just don't want to remember that. So anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I, this will probably come out on Mother's Day. So I hope that you guys have a great Mother's Day. And um, thanks for watching. Bye now.